again, I'm not, I'm not anybody special and I'm certainly not here to preach to anybody, but just from coming from somebody who was just really, just in a really just f***ed up place, like, and I use that word like with discretion, but in this case it describes like where I was, like that guy found a lot of peace, like from this book and from, from looking at things in a different way. Yeah. From looking at things through the eyes well, yeah, of scripture. And I think for me, it was like, I had been in. You know, I'd been in church growing up, and I had been I had been exposed to all of that, but I'd found a lot of um, a lot of theatrics and a lot of politics in church and in religion when I was younger, and so it just immediately turned me off to so it. So, if you can take us to like what was like the day you picked it up, what what was the feeling that you had, like what caused you to act, what what was it like when you did it? Yeah, I mean, I'd been reading it here and there, off and on, and I had for like off and on for a long time like because i again i was introduced to it as a kid but it was really just like um i remember i'd went to the i went to the er for everything that was going on i mean i thought i was seriously going to die like i was having shooting pains up under my jaw down in my wrist and my leg like just cardiovascular 101 symptoms of course i'm 31 i had been like I could run four miles without stopping, no problems. So, like I knew my heart was strong, but You're I just, just freaking out. Yeah, but I went and did that, and uh, I remember being in the truck after that, just like, and I just yeah, I just had a breakdown moment. I was just cr just crying and um, was just just I just felt hopeless, like like almost the way a child feels hopeless when they you know like you can't find your parent or something, like a like a four year old that can't find his parents or something. I was just like just didn't have anything left in me and um i don't know i just uh i just decided like right then and there i was like i know i can't do this anymore and but i know i know that i can i know there's things that i need to do and i just i was just just told god i was like just let me do it like and i'll give all this shit up i'll give up the weed and i'll quit getting drunk and i'll quit um i'll quit being so angry about things and i'll just like well, I'll just call it good. Whatever I've done up from from up until I was thirty or whatever thirty one, like I'll we'll just call that good, and I'll start over again, and um, I'll make him the focus and not me. Take me to what what you did. Did you start reading the Bible? Like, what did you do? I just changed my perspective. Um, you changed. You, you, I quit like, worrying about me, and I started worrying about what what it is that I'm supposed to do. You know, like it talks in the Bible about, um, about being a servant and, you know, giving up, I guess my desire and my will and whatever it is that I, that I want to do. Like, um, I don't, I don't know the best way to describe it, but it's about, it's about trying to use what I have as a tool versus doing what I can in the moment to give what, give myself whatever satisfaction that it is I'm trying to get, you know, it's about letting, trying to let go of your ego, I guess, in a way. Um, mm. and I mean, people, people pursue that mentality without faith. I mean, it's the idea of there being something bigger than you, but I think inherently all human beings idolize something like it talks in the Bible about false idols. We all have false idols, like whether it's our phone or it's a celebrity or it's something we do, or it's our addiction to food or drugs or whatever, but like, it's very difficult for a human to be the biggest thing on their hierarchy. There's always something above us, right? Because we're always in pursuit of something bigger than whatever it is in that moment. And I think for me, it was just about taking everything else, all the distractions and all the other things in my life away and just ensuring that at least, and look, I'm, st it, we're all, we're all, we all sin and we all do stupid things. Like we're all just people, nobody's special or righteous. People sometimes act like they're special and righteous, but we're all just the same thing. Like, um, but it's just about trying to make that, make that my idol, make, make, make God and the concept of what it is that he wants done on this earth, my idol versus anything else.